With the 2024 SCAC Men's and Women's Basketball Tournament Championships in Shreveport, Louisiana, on the campus of Centenary College, it's semifinal Saturday, women's semifinal game one in the books. Trinity University Tigers advancing to another SCAC Tournament Championship with a 64-54 win over Shrine University head coach Cameron Hill, along with senior Maggie Robbins and coach Maggie. First of all, congratulations. Thank you so much. Uh, Thank uh, you. Coach, uh, another opportunity for this group in the SCAC Tournament Championship, but uh, you know, it wasn't easy uh, sailing the entire way. Sir Triner, to their credit, came out and played really hard after a win last night. 21-13 uh, in the first, and they had a 13-point lead about halfway through that second quarter. And your group um, really rallied, got it to within four at half, and then that third quarter, limiting just seven points, uh, I thought was obviously very key in the turnaround. Just your thoughts on the game and the excitement to head to another final. Yeah, I think, um, you know, you earn the bye. And it seems as though it's an advantage, but it really doesn't become an advantage until the second half. Because in the first half, that team you're playing has a lot of continuity on the court. They played the night before. They came off winning. So they're excited to be there. And so I think that's what you saw tonight. I mean, you saw a team, Shriner, was throwing all the punches they could throw. And they were landing a bunch of them. And a ton of respect for them and the way they competed in the first half. And then at halftime, we, we talked through a little bit about what it means to have the buy and, and their momentum. And hopefully, we can do some things to slow that down. And the third quarter was certainly pivotal for us. And then the way we closed the game, I was really proud of as well. You know, I think, Coach, you know, tonight may not be the, the most elite offensive night in, in Trinity women's basketball history. But when you have the defense that you have to just know it, it can keep you in a game long enough until you get your shooting, until you find your rhythm. And it felt like in that third and fourth quarter, it was much, much more comfortable with this group. You know, speak to the defense, the game plan you had coming tonight, and how you were kind of able to disrupt them, uh, the Mountaineers, that is, in the second half especially. Yeah, I mean, it's not super scientific. I just look at the first two quarters in which everyone has fewer points. That's what we do in the second half. So the second quarter was better than the first. They really did a good job getting off to a great start. So we kind of kept the game plan for the second quarter throughout. And it, it did work. Um, you know, Schreiner does a great job making it difficult for your shooters to be in rhythm. It's not that you're not getting open shots, it's that you're not catching clean balls. And I have a ton of respect for that because it's not easy to do that. They have great length and great uh, great athletes. And I think you see that. We're a team that can shoot the ball really well. And, and for you know, for the reasons that I just mentioned, it's difficult against Schreiner. But you know, in the end, we were able to get the buckets when we needed them. And we punctured the defense at the right time and got some big offensive rebounds. And it was fun down the stretch to watch them compete. Hey, before we talk to Maggie, obviously, uh, you know, no stranger to the importance that her engine is with this group. Uh, another spectacular 14 points, eight rebounds, five steals, as she does constantly, just sort of filling it up everywhere it needs to be taken care of. Your thoughts on her performance tonight and, and obviously her importance to this group going into tomorrow? Yeah, I don't, I don't know if there will ever be a, a more underappreciated player in the history of the SCAC. Uh, write that down because it's the truth. Um, what she does doesn't always turn up in stat sheets, which makes it hard to vote for her for certain things. But she doesn't care about individual accolades. She just cares about winning, and she's done that better than anybody. Um, so for me, every minute that I get to spend with her is, is – I almost cussed right there – is a dream, literally. And uh, the most important people know, and, and that's really all that matters. Maggie, uh, uh, an outstanding performance tonight. As I mentioned, 14 points, eight rebounds, uh, five steals. Uh, just your thoughts uh, on your performance tonight, uh, and more importantly, uh, the opportunity to go into another SCAC final tomorrow. Uh, well, thank you. I'm very excited to go, f hopefully, four for four. Won't get too ahead of myself. But again, I think all of my points were off of assisted passes, so shout out to my teammates for giving me those. And for the rebounds and steals, I mean, my teammates put me in the position to be able to turn the ball over on, turn them over on defense and get the engines rolling. But if I can't get the ball out to my shooters, I'm going to go in there and get in the paint and do the best I can. You know, you mentioned having the opportunity to go four for four tomorrow. You've obviously certainly been in this spot and comfortable with kind of turning that next page, you know, going from semifinal transitioning into to championship Sunday. Uh, with your experience, you know, what's key over the next, you know, 24 hours or so? How do you enjoy tonight, then turn the page, get ready for tomorrow? Uh, with, with the experience you had, what, what do you tell maybe some of the people that haven't been there as much as you, you know, on this team tomorrow, going into tomorrow's game? Rest and water. And some ice, you know. We're going to go, we're going to watch the next game, and then we're going to go back to the hotel. We'll chit chat in the rooms, and then get up tomorrow and do it all over again. And lastly, for you, Maggie, when you hear your coach, you know, say the things that he says about you, have the confidence in you, what does that do for just your overall confidence, knowing that he 100% has your back uh, and, you know, has full trust in, in you being able to, to run the show out there for the Tigers night in and night out? 
I mean, it's really special. Like a lot of people don't get to have the relationship they have with certain coaches. And I'm very thankful that me and Cam connected and I came to Trinity. And, and finally, Coach, uh, you know, as, as Maggie said, another opportunity here going into tomorrow to another SCAC championship. You've been obviously on both sides. Uh, it's not easy on Sunday. It's it's everyone's scrapping, everyone's playing for everything on the line. Um, you know, what what are you excited about going into tomorrow? And ultimately for this group, what is going to be key to have the opportunity to cut down the nets uh, tomorrow afternoon? I mean, honestly, after the year we've had, it's just it's just exciting to know that I get to coach this team one more time and I get to watch them compete one more time. and. I know without a doubt they're going to show up ready to play, and I also know without a doubt whoever wins this game will also show up ready to play, and it's going to be a really exciting final. I, I think it's it's awesome. The SCAC tournament is awesome. The opportunity that's at stake is awesome for all of us, and I think everybody's going to do their best tomorrow. Trinity University Tigers women's basketball team picking up the win today in the game one of semifinal Saturday here at the SCAC Women's Basketball Tournament Championship, 64-54 over Trinity University, head to another SCAC tournament title. Head coach Cameron Hill, senior leadership Maggie Robbins. Coach Maggie, thanks so much and best of luck tomorrow. Thanks, Russell. Thank you.